Hello and uh, welcome back to my videos. In this video I will show how you can use uh, Vue.js and uh, props where you will, will work with the two different uh, Vue template files. Um, it's very smart if you have products and you have a, a product wrapper around it and you only need to you only want to include this um, inside your main view controller so you can use like if you have a product in a, in a web shop you can use the product design in multi layers of uh, of different uh, view templates so let's beginning the first we want to do is uh, creating a new uh, child view file inside here we want a template oh. And then we need a, a wrapper, subchannel, that's a class. And then we need to say h2 and the title. And then we need a list. In our list, we want to say nothing yet. We only need to say it's, it's included. So let's say hello view parent. Then we need to go for the script. Inside here, you need to export export default. What we want here, it's uh, we need to say props. I'll show you a little minute. And then we need data function return. What is we want to return? We have a title. Title. And we want to say test child view props. That's it, and we need first time it's rendered, we need this one. Right now, we don't want to return anything. And then we go for the main again. The first one to be sure is uh, we need to put this inside a wrapper. So it's not always thinking uh, h1 is the root container. And then we go down here to say import subchild from child.new. And what we want here, it's we need to tell them because right now I'm working with the with the only one component. And what I want is I, I need to include my second component. And that's doing this way to tell them, hey, I have more components down, so please use it. In this in this case, I want to say sub test child is binding to a sub child i only call it sub child sub test child and not sub child so so you can um, so you can see what i'm doing uh, you can call this whatever you want but up here i need to say uh, not this sub child and then everything should be running smooth. It's doing yeah. And the first test here: test child props. Hello, view parent. That's perfect. That's our first step to be sure what we do. And it's everything is working. So the first step it's uh, it's done. The next step is what we want is um, I need to send something down here to it. So what I want to return it's a group 
in my group I want to say first this is my first group and we just have a title first group first title I will copy this uh, three times Uh, just three times. Still first group, second, and third. And now I want to copy first to second, and to third. And then I want to say something up here because now I get the, my main controller and I want data. I only need my, my data to send ops in my in my sub uh, in my child uh, view. And how you do this is you say and groups. That's our, our props. We will do it. Uh, I will show you in the next. This is a props. And then I say group first. That's what we're sending inside group first so everything down here should be new able inside here and then because I have one is called groups here uh, groups coming coming from from this one it's a property so we call it props it's going inside to, to our props and then I can say return self uh, self sorry this groups because when you have the props here you can call it defined by this and up here we want to for loop and our for loop should be child and index that's what we need in our function select select the subgroups you don't need this and inside here I want uh, an index and here I want the child object and then I need the title the title comes from every single object and if I run this everything should be run to move it's compiled correct and we have three first 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 second and third title And the nice for doing this way, it could be like this. I can just say duplicate second and third. And if I go back, you can see all the tree. Okay, I'm spilling it around one hundred percent. Interesting. I probably make a spilling error here. So go back, and we have it. So that's how you're working with the props in, in View JS, and I hope you like it. Please subscribe my channel, and if you like it, add it to your playlist. Give it a like. If you have any comments or questions, please make a comments below. And I hope to see you next time. And I hope you want to subscribe my channel. See you.